Jennifer Lopez is standing by Ben Affleck's side as he clears up those controversial comments he made about his marriage to Jennifer Garner. And even being the subject of that is just sort of the cost of doing business a little bit as an actor, but like not with my kids. Don't do that. It's wrong. It hurts me. Yeah, and it your family. Them. Stop yeah. that. It all started earlier this week when The Last Duel star appeared on Sirius XM's The Howard Stern Show and opened up about his past relationship with Garner and how alcoholism affected his marriage. And during a stop by Jimmy Kimmel Live on Wednesday, after receiving some backlash on social media for his comments, the 49-year-old Oscar winner explained how his remarks were twisted by the media. I had gone on and said like how much we respect each other and cared about each other and cared about our kids and put them first and went through our stuff and he said that I had blamed my ex-wife for my alcoholism and that I was trapped in this marriage. like just made me out to be like the worst most insensitive stupid awful guy. Affleck went on saying that while he doesn't mind being turned into a meme from time to time when it comes to his family he draws a line. Now I'm really clear like that's not true. I don't believe that. It's the exact opposite of who I am, what I believe, and I would never want my kids to think I would ever say a bad word about their mom because this I really upset you. I mean, obviously, that hurts my feelings. Yeah. Of course, this all comes after Affleck sat down with Stern and recalled the circumstances that led to his divorce from Garner, whom he shares three children with: 16-year-old Violet, 12-year-old Serafina, and 9-year-old Samuel. We grew apart. We had a marriage that didn't work. This happens. There's somebody I love and respect, but to whom I, wa I shouldn't be married any longer. And um, we said, you know what? We don't want to. Ultimately, we, we tried, we tried, we tried because we had kids. And then we said, we don't, both of us felt like we don't want this to be the model that our kids see of marriage. Affleck went on to say the split was amicable, adding that if they had not ended their relationship, they would have, quote, ended up at each other's throats, and he, quote, would probably still be drinking. And on Wednesday, following the backlash from his interview, his current girlfriend, Jennifer Lopez, was right by his side, walking hand in hand with him as he arrived at Jimmy Kimmel Live's Los Angeles studio. During his sit down with Stern, Ben also opened up about his rekindled relationship with the singer, admitting that negative media attention during their first relationship was partially responsible for their 2004 split. I would say it was about 50 <clears throat> percent. Like right. the idea that people hate you and they hate you together and that being together is poison and ugly and toxic and thing none of us want to be part of and who the f would want to have them to dinner and what the are they doing together? And when E.T. spoke with Lopez in 2014, she expressed a similar sentiment. It was my first like adult heartbreak. Was it because it was so public and we wanted to know every single uh, thing about your relationship? Well, that didn't help. It, we were about to get married. It didn't work out and it was just a bad heartbreak. Fast forward to 2021 and the two are very much back on. And while the Oscar winner has played coy about his relationship. I don't know if you are aware of how good the internet thinks you look. It's like all everyone's talking about lately. I think you might be. No, uh, I'm not. Bull I'm, not. Me. I'm really not, Ben. Um, I, is it the JLo glow? Like how much happiness is she bringing into your life? Because you're looking good, man. Is it the corduroy? <laughs> Is that what you like? You're big on the quarter? Because I wasn't sure about quarter. They told me it's fall. Earlier this week, Lopez was there to support her man at the premiere of his new film, Tender Bar. <laughs> and Affleck, he said when it comes to the media, he just wants to keep it professional. In my life, um, been through a, a lot of different kinds of experiences with the press, and um, it's just a, it's like a function of what you do, right? It's not my favorite part of the job. It's not what I would choose to do. But it is a responsibility of mine that I take seriously.